day to be alive. I thank God so much that you are here once again for us to go through the Word of God in our short devotional, The Faith Credo. Beloved, welcome to Faith Credo, our weekly devotional. Now, let's share a word of prayer. Father, we are at your feet once again today. Lord, I ask that you let your word speak through us, O God. May we see the word in its entirety and its blessing be upon our lives. Father, we thank you because you are faithful. Help us to be doers of sin in Jesus' name mighty name. Amen. Obviously, you can see I am excited. I've been promising and promising to unveil our surprise. I am going to do it today. Hallelujah. What a beautiful book I have in my hand. This is a devotional Makeshia class. No, we are talking about the word of God. We have this to help us go through the word of God. What is the meaning of makashia? Makashia simply means to be energized. In Hebrew, it's a Hebrew word that means energized. So we aim at energizing you every morning with the word of God. Carefully selected scriptures for each day of the Bible with prayers that accompany them. Hallelujah. Now we have a one year. This book has actually been a portion such that by the time you read this book cover to cover in a year, you would have read the Bible in a very beautiful way. Maximum of four chapters a day. Actually, we have three, one, two, or two, or three, but maximum of four chapters a day. We made it so easy for you to, you know, read the Bible. Now, every book of the Bible begins with vital statistics that explains the purpose of that particular book relevant they are to you. We have colorfully themed pages that will excite you and cause you to desire the word of God and to speak to you personally. We also have sections where you can pen down your reflections, your prayers, and you can go back to them at the end of the year and see what God has done for you. Now, the beautiful thing about this book is that you can use it year in and year in out year in and year out it has every day of the month less than you know it's not based on a particular year so you can use it for any year you can start from now you can start from any time and you still get the full benefit of this devotional this is a very beautifully tame and well laid uh, tool in your hand to encourage and i want to encourage you Get copies for yourself. They are available at various places. Or you can quickly write to us and uh, uh, you'll get, you know, details on how you can get a copy for yourself, for your family, and for the ones you love. It can also be used as a gift. Hallelujah. And I trust this is going to be a blessing to you. Our theme today is, have you heard? Have you heard? And our anchor scripture is Isaiah 40, um, 28 to 29. Let's hear the word of God. Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. And no one can measure the depth of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Hallelujah. Beloved, we realize in recent time we've been talking about the word, word, word. There is a reason for it. This year we want to be a people of the word. We want to be strengthened by the word. Hallelujah. We want to be grounded in the word. As a matter of fact, do you know that Jesus himself is referred to as the word? Right? Now let me show you. In 1 John 1, 1 to 3, it says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Verse 14 says, And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. 
truth. Hallelujah. So you realize Jesus being the word represents a lot of blessings to us. Amen. Now understand that Jesus is the word made flesh. And everything we see in the Bible is all centered in Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus is our victory and he has a lot of promises, a lot of blessings for us. And that is why our act enemy, our number one enemy, will not want us to know what is in the word. He would rather have us be ignorant of the word. Why? Because when we know what is in the word, we have access. And access, anybody that has revelation, you have access. And when you have access to the presence of God, there is nothing that is impossible to achieve. Hallelujah. So, the enemy will try as much as possible to keep us away from the word. But don't allow him to keep you away from the word. That is why the Bible admonishes us in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Let's hear what the word of God says. It says, Steady to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of God. Did you hear that? We have been encouraged to study the word of God. Why? That we may be approved unto God. You are seeking for approval before God. Study his word. So that you will be a workman, a believer that will not be ashamed of the word of truth. In fact, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 has this to say. It says, The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Now, we are everywhere looking for prosperity, looking for success is actually in the word of God. What is the uh, recommendation? It is to meditate on it day and night. Now, let me bring this to your notice. When we are looking at it day and night, it can be in the morning and it can be in the evening as on to time. It can also, it also be as on to season. We have our morning season when we are happy, when we are young, when we are exuberant and everything is going so well for us. We have everything so okay. And we have the night season when it appears the whole world is falling upon us. Hallelujah. In those season, the antidote to clear away every kind of struggle and obstruction is to meditate on the word of God. Be a person of the word. Hallelujah. Now, what are some of these promises of benefit that we get from the word of God that the enemy will not want us to know? Hallelujah. So I say the enemy is not even coming against you with all kinds of uh, atlab, physical. No, he's only coming against you with one bit of faith, ignorance. And that is enough to deny you of your blessings. But this year, that we'll, uh, we're raising dry bones, I want to encourage you to be a person of prayer and you will be victorious. Now, what are the benefits? Let's go to the word. He said, the number one benefit, the word of God is truth and his ordinances are everlasting. The word of God is everlasting. Isaiah 40 verse 8 has this to say. It says, the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. In other words, every promise of God in his word, regardless of the time span, shall come to pass. And if you know that they will come to pass, then your confidence is assured. Hallelujah. In fact, Psalm 119 verse 60 said, I will hurry without delay to obey your commands. That's the New Living Translation. I will quickly obey the ordinances, the commands, the word of God. Why? Because I know they are everlasting. Amen. In fact, let's still look at uh, Matthew 24, verse 35. It says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Hallelujah. Friends, whatever you do, lay hope of the word of God. Trust it. God can be trusted and he's saying, this word shall not pass 
and way. Completely have your trust in what God said. Another benefit of the word is that the word of God has more than enough power to break into pieces every wall of opposition that hinders our blessing. Jeremiah 23, verse 29, and it says, Is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rocks into pieces. I don't know about you, but in this season that I find myself, I am ready with the hammer of God, which is the word of God, to break into pieces every form of opposition to my lifting in life. Hallelujah. And that should be your concern as well. You should also rise with the word of God. We learned last week when God said in the book of Hosea, He said, come to me with the word. Come to me with the word. So come. And as you speak the word, over every sickness, over every loss, over every depression, over every kind of thing that is not aligning itself, watch God break into pieces those empty opposition that has hindered your destiny. May it be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Number three, the word of God sanctifies us and gives us access. John 17 verse 17 says, sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is true. And remember, according to Hebrews 12, 14, it says, Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see God. So if we cannot see God without holiness, then we must look for what will keep us holy and keep us sanctified. And according to John 17, 17, it is only the word of God that can sanctify us and grant us access before the presence of God. Whatever that is your heart desire, whatever that you are crying for, I pray that you will have enough courage to assess and engage the word of God and you see yourself breaking through in Jesus' mighty name. The word of God is the vehicle that carries us before the presence of God. And finally for this session, the word of God is what grants us prosperity and success. Remember what we read in Joshua 1.8. Let's read it again. This book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Hallelujah. Every one of us wants to be successful. Every one of us wants to prosper. Now, this is the key to prosperity, and that is the way of God. God, meditating and studying it. And when you meditate and study it, you will be propelled to do according to the word, what it says, and you will see success coming your way. Beloved, if you want to make it in life and in heaven as well, be a person of the word. Equip yourself with tools that will help you to be a person of the word. And it's my prayer that this day, hence, you will begin to engage the word of God. A question for this week. Do you read the word of God daily? Action point. Write down the tools that will help you for effective study and meditation on the word of God. Fair declaration. The word of God is truth and light. Oh Lord, illuminate my path with your word. I purpose to be a person of the word from today. In Jesus' glorious name, amen. Now let's take our prayer points for this week. Pray and ask God to remove every old order that makes you not to delight in God's word. Prayer point two, ask God to ignite in you an unquenchable desire for his word from today. Prayer point three, pray that you will not just hear God's word, but that you will be a doer of it as well in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's have our Bible reading. Day one, first John 1, 1 to 3 and 4 thing. John 6, 51. Day two, Proverbs 16, 20. Day three, Psalm 119, verse 130. 
therefore Psalm 119 verse 28 and verse 111 day 5 Romans 15 verse 4 day 6 Titus 1 2 and Ephesians 6 17 and finally day 7 Matthew 4 3 2 4 hallelujah Beloved, make this way from this way make yourself to be a reader of God's word it's been an amazing time in the presence of God I'm so excited about this book I just don't want to end but I got an egg and I want you to get it for yourself and I want to encourage you to share our videos as well keep sharing it for those of you that are already sharing it God is going to bless you love till I come your way again get yourself like a shirt and Reverend Julia is a counselor, children church minister, conference speaker, and a teacher of God's word, grace with a healing anointing. For bookings and updates on her messages, devotionals, and related events, please call 055-081-2255 or 020-77582227 or send an email at rev.juliaoji at gmail.com. Like and follow her social media handles on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram at Rev Julia Oji. So she comes your way again with another session of the Faith Cradle. Stay strong and favoured. God bless you. Connect with Apostle Freddie and Julia Oji for a heavenly experience of glory with a host of other believers at the Miracle Revival Chapel International. Friend, join any of our services on the days on your screen. A divine encounter awaits you. God bless you.